Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. I forgot what I was going to say. One sec, yo. It's 7 a.m. Ew! Why is it so early where y'all are at? Wait one sec. I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, my God. Fish, I'll come back. I'll come back, I think. <laughs> it's coming back soon. I only slept for a few hours. I literally had a panic attack last night with everything going on. Honestly, y'all, it's crazy. The fact that Donald Trump just tweeted what he tweeted... Well, like, I don't know if he just tweeted it, but, like, I just saw the tweet, and I was like, what the fuck is wrong with the world? Why is he president? I feel like what he tweeted, he was like, oh, the people that are, like, protesting will be, like, killed, or something like that. Like, he was essentially telling people that they were going to die, or, like, that he was going to kill them, or whatever. I can't even term. Uh, I, I read a little bit about, about Prideful, but I don't know what it is. Can y'all explain? Like, is it just like, because what I read was that some 4chan users are going to be spamming the pride hashtag or something. Oh, they're sure those don't feel safe with this person. Hey, really, though, like, he's so chaotic for the world. Like, if you see how the world has been going on a down downhill ever since he became president, like, um, spamming and hacking all users who support LGBT or are LGBT, I think. A dumb, well, I think, yeah, I feel like it shouldn't be a big deal. I think uh, something reported or you keep spreading, like, I think we should all keep spreading positiveness with the LGBT hashtags and everything because what they're trying to do is they're trying to, like, ruin pride for us, but it's not going to happen, Okay. So just because, like, these people are going to be spamming, like, really gross things or something. So just, if you see something gross, don't even watch it, report it, block it, and then tweet five things positive to, like, multiply the hate towards positiveness, to positivity, you know? <laughs> um, holy crap. I know. I feel like people are so messed up. So obsessed with hating and, like, negativeness. They're trying to ruin pride. They just want to, yeah. So like, don't get upset. Just like, continue to do you. Yeah, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep the hashtags clean. So I'm gonna be sure to spam all pride long. <laughs> hey, Manny, what's up? How you doing? He says the most iconic, idiotic things, but he wants to make America great again. Yeah, like honestly, I can't. His supporters feel the same. Feel that he made the world safer and better. That person there. Personally, I like them to. I like. I liken them to a bunch of knuckle dragon buffoons. Really though, like I don't understand. Thank you, Ashley. You're amazing. Thank you, Queen. I don't understand how people can support someone like that. And it just makes me so annoyed. Thank you, Ashley. You're the queen of the wall of stands. I love you. Second place we have curly headed. I'm gonna write curly H. And third place, we have Horton. Oh, thank you, Ron. Wait, never mind. We have Ron in second place. Love you, Ron. You're amazing. Uh, yeah, it all really makes me so sad, so mad, and so annoyed that, like, nothing is being done about it. Like, literally everything that's being done is by the people, not by the president, not by the cops, not by the, like, anything. And you would think that when things get this extreme... It will be changed, but no, oh my god, it's raining again. Fuck my asshole, bitch. Oh my god, yes! We have a new number one stand, y'all. Thank you, Ron. Also, did y'all see my latest Instagram story? I spilled a little bit of tea, but I just had to because it just made me really fucking annoyed. That, like, there's so many whites <laughs> and, like, non-black people that say the N-word and are always like, I'm not racist, I just, like... I feel like it's just a word, blah, 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 and then say it. And then when they, when yeah. the black community actually needs everyone's support, they're just quiet, bitch. They're like, do y'all hear something? I'm like, bitch, 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 where are the balls at? Like, have some ovaries and like, speak up, bitch. You know, I cannot with people. Makes me so upset. I was ready to tag some people, but like the tag would be so long that it wouldn't even fit on Instagram, bitch. <laughs> people get on my nerves. Me too, y'all. Anyways, let's try to let's try to clear our minds a little for at least one hour. 
<laughs> I can make it trend, guys. Yeah, if I was president, I would get some shit done, period. <laughs> Thank you, Rachel, for the like. It's going to be sad driving to that area tomorrow when I go to take care of my disabled. I'm sorry to keep talking about it. I'm done. No, don't. Don't say sorry. I feel like it's important to keep talking about it. I just, like, don't know if y'all want me to stop talking about it because I can keep on go ranting about it. But I feel like, I don't know. Let me know. But, yeah, like, it's sad to drive through it, but it also shows that people are not dealing with this shit anymore. So it's... Uh, and also, there was a, they, they were saying that there was undercover cops because they they tend to do that. Like there's when there's like riots of like Black Lives Matter or like things like that or like maybe Pride and things like that, they'll send over um, undercover cops to make some riots, like set Target on fire, for example, and then they'll blame it on the movement to like discredit it. So yeah, don't don't feel negatively towards the protest, even though they're like. It's just like they they want to be safe. Like people are getting killed. They want to be heard. You know. Uh, hey, Yanni, what's up? How you doing? Also, y'all, y'all. I was bopping to Lady Gaga's uh, album while making banana bread. It's a bop. Did y'all hear it? It's really good. I really like it. It's very, it's not like Joanne at all, thank goodness. I love Joanne, but, like, it wasn't my cup of tea. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Oh, my God. <clears throat> uh, the, the Minneapolis Police has, Force has been known for their protection. That's fucked. Like, the fact that the police, you can't trust the police. <laughs> Well, like, we knew that, but, like, it's just so messed up. I'm sorry, I can't be yes. here long. I just joined to give you my yeah. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah, if any, if any of y'all have not been sending out your free spins, send out your free spins, starting to 5,000 likes, y'all. We're, like, 2,300 likes away. Yeah. I was bumping to Lady Gaga while <laughs> making banana bread. Yeah, that's a sentence that we love to hear. <laughs> y'all, I was, like, I fell asleep so peacefully yesterday. Because Latte was purring on my chest. I was like, I remember I was like so peacefully sleeping. And then Mocha woke me up 20 minutes later because he needed to pee outside. And I'm like, bitch, I let him out. And he's just staring into the sky. And I'm like, Mocha, pee. And he won't pee. And then I like bring him back in. And I go back to bed. And he barks again because he wants to go out. And I'm like, Mocha. So I end up, I bring him. And I'm like, Mocha, you're grounded. Because he did this like five times so i bring him into the bathroom and i let him sleep in the bathroom because i was not having it bitch and then dion i just wake up this morning and mocha is outside sleeping in our bed so he went and freed him from the his punishment <laughs> can't touch your nose with your tongue no oh one second i need to get my charger mm. Hands up to the sky. I'll be your galaxy. I had builders wake me up at 8 a.m. Oh my god, I hate being woken up. But I, like, I always get woken up by Lati, but I'm used to that. <laughs> um, what the police is going to hurt you if you're on mini prides? Um, I don't know, but like, we probably shouldn't be doing mini prides because of the whole pandemic. What the hell dog is it? It's a Pomeranian Husky. It's only been about five years since the shot on kill Philoma Castillo in his car while following the orders of police and officer. I know. I was just saying that apparently it's only been, in 2019, there was only 26 days where the cops didn't, didn't kill anyone. 26 days. Of 365 days. And uh, what makes me more pissed is like the differences between when they arrest a white person, a white murderer that shot a school, and versus when they arrest a black guy that was walking around getting some Cheetos. Like, it's just, ugh, makes me so pissed. And I can't understand it. <laughs> uh, but that works for the police, but he's against us, that gives us those things. And that, yeah, like the thing is. It's so messed up because there's actually good cops out there, but, like, the amount of bad cops that are out there are, like, ruining what cops are supposed to stand for. So 
So the girl who says she wants a gay dude, I'm a straight dude. I'm Austin. I know female struggles, trans. I will take care of you. Oh, Mallory. Is Mallory here? I'll let Mallory know. I'll let Mallory know, Austin. Come next broadcast. You'll probably be here later. <laughs> American messed up right now. I know. Y'all, the sky is falling now, bitch. Like, it's raining. Rain on me since <laughs> <laughs> oh, that song is so good, though. The president is making it worse, dude. Yeah, the president is trash. <laughs> oh, so you guys have made plans to check out Vancouver? Not yet. Thank you, Sky Sweetie, for the four life lessons, which are amazing. Thank you, Queen Icon. Austin, oh, you're number three stand. Uh, we want to we want to plan it out to go to Vancouver to check it out soon. Like once quarantine is over, because it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to travel right now. I remember saying that we could, like, drive there, but it would take a long time. Oh, thank you, Ortez. Sorry, Skies. It, it's, like, four-day driving, which could be a fun, like, little vlog experience series. So, yeah, we're just waiting a little. To, like, oh, we're also waiting. Like, we want to wait until the house market gets cheaper like a little bit cheaper because of coronavirus i'm so confident and then we'll go check out some houses and see what we like because i also yesterday i saw a really cute house in toronto and i was like messaging to go see it but at the same time we want to stay in Toronto because of oh, you're amazing. Hey, Queen Icon. <gasps> thank you, Cindy. Oh my god, y'all. All oh, icons. Thank you. They're amazing. Oh, shit. I have to redo the whole wall of stairs. Okay, hey, bitch. Thank you, Miss Diane, for the prize flag. Yes. Okay, in first place, we have Cindy. Cindy. Cindy, there's a girl coming out of my TV. Does anyone know where that's from? Miss Alice second, love you icon. Oh shit, Ronnie is third. Thank you, Ron. I'm gonna write funny. Do you prefer Ron or Ronnie? I don't know, because I always call you Ron, but like maybe you prefer Ronnie. Thank you. Oh shit, Miss L has moved up to number first spot, bitch. Thank you, Miss L. You're an icon. What is it? Sunday! This thing is licking on my floor! <laughs> you can call me late for dinner. Oh, Ron! Smooth! Thank you, Cindy. Oh, this bitch is messing up my floor! Yes, Miss Al! <laughs> I'm so glad somebody knew that reference. It's like my favorite scary, like from the scary movie series. <laughs> Thank you, Cindy! <laughs> Oh my god, I remember that scene. The TV is like, yeah, yeah, I guess, yes, Miss I am. Oh my god, I have to watch that movie today. The TV is like, <laughs> sure, one white girl falls into a thing, and the whole world needs to know about it. I can't. <laughs> Thank you, Miss I am. You're amazing. Oh shit, y'all, Miss I am and Cindy are having a little fight, and I'm here for it. <laughs> Thank you, Miss I am. Y'all, if you don't know what we were talking about, we were talking about the movie Scary Movie 3. It's like a satire of scary movies. It's so funny. I can't, y'all. I watched it because I watched The Ring when I was younger, and like, it scarred me. I was so scared for like two months. I couldn't be alone because I was so scared of that movie. And then my parents... My parents brought in... Scary Movie 3, which is a satire of The Ring and, like, a bunch of other movies. And I was, like, that made me less scared because I was, like, oh, my God, this is so funny. And I was, like, hoping that the girl would come out from the TV so I could, like, kick her ass, like, in that movie. Very iconic. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, sorry. Um, bye, Mel. Love you. No horror movie has no horror movie has ever scared me. Oh my god, I get so scared with horror movies, yo. Thank you, single try Teha. I love you. Um, I want food. Oh, I just I'm started I started eating right now because after a while of not eating in the morning I get sick. So yeah. <laughs> I hate horror movies, so I've never 
I've never watched them. Um, I love scary movies, but they, they scare me a lot. <clears throat> Please go live later. I have a six-hour car ride, and the internet sucks. Yeah, I might. I'm going to go live later today, too. So we will see, y'all. It's night at my town. At my town now, 10 p.m. Ooh, good night. <laughs> I'm terrified of horror movies. So I get very bad anxiety. Yeah, like, I get scared, but, like, I, like, need to, I, like, really like seeing, watching scary movies. So, like, it's a confusing time, you know? <laughs> Hi, Holly. What's up? How are you doing? I need to go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom. I'll be here. <laughs> Uh, it's a good thing it's Friday today. I get to stay up late. Oh my god, yeah, it's finally it's Friday. I might, I think I'm posting a video tomorrow. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And also, I think that's all. Yeah, and we'll probably be posting TikToks today and the works. I'm sorry I didn't post twice this week. I just like, I was going to film yesterday, but it was so cloudy and rainy. I was like, uh -huh, I don't feel like filming. <laughs> Horror movies are my biggest fears. I watched once, uh, but I didn't sleep that night. Oh, my God. <laughs> said, yeah, my closest friend fell out the other day, and he's tried to message me. What should I do? Uh, if you want the relationship back, then you can message back. But if you don't think it was a good relationship for your mental health, then don't. Don't do it. Yo, we're number 89 on top broadcasters. Yes, bitch. Ooh, the neighbors have Alexa outside. Oh my god, yes. Do that, Jessica. Be like, Alexa, do it. I would like to see it. I like oatmeal, but after a while, it just feels like <laughs> you're eating puke. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I haven't seen your cover of the song. Let me, let me, let me show me the link, y'all. I need to see it. Thank you, Ashley, for the four likes. Love you so much. You're amazing. Yo, my number one in guys. Yes. I literally, I literally watch your YouTube every night. Thank you, Ashley. You're amazing. I love you. Thanks for watching my videos. Oh, shit. We have a new... Sorry, Ron. I love you. But you have been replaced by Ashley Icon. You're amazing. <laughs> Do you run a game called Danganronpa? It's so good. I love you. Well, oh, I've never seen it. Well, you're so nice. We have... Oh, shit. Y'all, Ashley is here to stay. She's like, nah, I'm coming for you, Cindy. I'm coming for you, Cindy. <laughs> oh my God, Cindy, hold on to your seat tight. Oh shit. Oh shit, I can feel it coming. I came back, but my pro. Hey, Upu, Upto, Upto, what's up? Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh shit. I think Ashley has the throne, Cindy. I think so. She's 10 legs away. I don't know if it has a Oh. I don't know if it's not loading or I feel like that. <gasps> oh shit! Cindy! <laughs> you have been dethroned by Queen Ashley. Love you. Cindy, you have been, you're close to being eliminated because Ashley showed that she has what it takes to climb up the ladder of the wall of stands. <laughs> love you, Ashley. I love you, Cindy. Y'all are amazing. Uh, one sec, y'all. Let me check. Oh, thank you, Ashley. You're amazing. Oh, she... oh. Ashley is now the number one fan, y'all. Mr. L in life, you can't tell what. Oh, shit. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you, Mr. L, for the things that's like. Mr. L was ready, y'all. He was like just waiting for Ashley to do it, and he's like, never mind. <laughs> Thank you, Misael. Ashley, that was a good try, and that's what we need in the wall of stands. Thank you, Misael. You're number one. Oh. <gasps> Thank you, Maddie. Oh, shit. Y'all are crazy. Thank you, Maddie. You're iconic. You're a queen. Misael, you're iconic. You're a king. And Ashley, you're iconic. You are... <laughs> Queen, y'all, okay, queens, icons, amazingness. That was a crown. I don't know if y'all can tell. <laughs> oh shit! 
Mr. L, thank you so much for the ah. Mr. L, you have shown that you have what it takes to rain the wall of stands. Thank you. You're amazing. I cannot. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, oh my god, y'all, it smells like banana bread, and I'm here for it. How much time do I have left in my time? <gasps> Did I make... Wait, that's so good. It's so good. Well, I, I keep getting this spam email, a business email. It's this girl. It's called Susie at Chick NYC Runway. So it sounds very professional, right? And it says, good afternoon. First up, congratulations. It is very rare, underlined, to get handpicked by such a large fashion label like Chic NYC for an ambassadorship. You can use this ambassadorship on your resume to receive other collaborations or hotel stays and more to grow within the fashion industry. So you're like, okay, okay, it worked. This sounds cool. With over 220,000 followers on Instagram, it will show other brands and hotels that you can have, that you can land a serious collaboration with a large runway fashion label. So again, congratulations. I'm like, okay. Once you check out, you will receive a welcome email from the agency, Global Influencer Agency, providing you access into their online membership. We're over, I mean, we're number eight, the product is. We're over 22,000 members are waiting to meet you. In parentheses, get ready for new, a lot of new followers. Thank you, I know. This is included for free with your royal amb ambassadorship with Chic NYC today. This is valued at $149, but because Chic NYC has shown faith in you by representing them online, we're going to give you the membership for free with your order today. Use this code at checkout, Royal, the website. You may use anything site-wide. We have a wool collection, organic collection, men's collection, and more. Okay, so they want me to buy something. Somehow, like, this this is an email for me to buy something, and, like, I get it added to something, right? So I'm like, I check out the link. I'm like, okay. Wait, is it lagging for everyone? Comment what if it's lagging for you. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's paying for <laughs> One sec. Let me try another different one. I'm kidding. <laughs> one sec. Um, one sec. It's better now. Is it better now? Okay, let me change. Oh, yeah. It's better now? Is this a lagging or... Okay. The actual website that they send... All of their shirts. Oh my god. <laughs> one sec, y'all. Let me switch Wi Fi. Wait, thanks. <laughs> Is it better now? Uh, it should freeze a little and it should be better. I feel like I got the most lips. <laughs> uh, kinda? No. Try refreshing. Wait, I'll go out for a sec. It's a little better. Kinda. I see you. The screen is frozen. No. It's really bad lag. Is it better now? Better now. Better now. Okay, so essentially this whole email of them inviting me to basketball, they want me to buy 149 shirts that says Chic Milano. Literally everything in their website is $149 or more. And I'm like, what? And then I check out like all the like the influence, global influencer agency that they say, it's fake. Boom, my first thing, oh, bye, Miss Hill, love you, thanks so much for hanging out with us, I love you, you're an icon. Um, 
It's freezing again. Is it freezing again or not? <laughs> it's lucky. Anyway, moral of the story, don't fall into email scams, period. It's freezing for me. One sec. Wish I, okay, I'm going to try something, okay? I'll be right back. Surprise, bitch. Bet you saw, you saw, you saw the last of me. <laughs> oh, let's see if that works. Naomi, obviously, don't give your password to anyone, y'all. Never, oh shit, one sec. Never give your passwords to anyone. Um, period. <laughs> And also, yeah, because, like, I feel like emails like these when I was like, we have so many great opportunities for you, blah, 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 all you have to do is buy this. It's like, don't buy things, because, like, that's what, just what they want, you know? Always look, like, I'm, I'm, I'm not really good at, like, I'm, not, uh, <laughs> I'm really good at, like, checking what's a scam or not. It's like, I feel like I don't trust emails that easily so like every time we get an email either me the other time i will like google things about the company like so, like every time you get an email or anything google things about the company my password is <laughs> yeah well sure i would probably change it karen a i would google things about the company i would like google reviews things like that so like always do that we love a hydrate i know i have to stay hydrated because my pimples are almost all gone, y'all. Remember yesterday they were still there? Now they're just marks on my skin. So I'll probably do like a peel that takes away all the redness and maybe it'll be good. We'll see. <clears throat> we're taught in school to know how to know what a scam is. I wasn't taught that in school, bitch. I learned that almost <laughs> I'm almost done Kahoot about it. Oh my god, yes! Oh, yo. oh my timer won't Let's see my banana bread. Oh! Yo, what the fuck? I think I'm fucking Benny Rucker. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. <gasps> oh my god. That looks amaze balls. Smells amaze balls. Oh my god, y'all. It's never. Mm. Mm. Nothing I've done has looked this beautiful. Let me stab it, see if it's ready. That's an actual loaf of bread. <gasps> oh my god. I love you. I love you, baby. I just said I love you some banana bread. <laughs> Y'all, I'm a master chef, bitch. I will pay in $20. Okay. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jasper, for six likes. Y'all, I'm gonna try it in a little and I'll let y'all know if it's good or not. Mmm. Hey, Nunu, what's up? How you doing? The thing is, I just had oatmeal with banana, so I'm really not craving banana bread right now. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> oh, I'm cold. Uh, yeah, I didn't sleep in. Today was a, it's a sleeping in day for us. <laughs> I was going to sleep in, but now once I'm awake, I can't go back to bed. But yeah, the weather, the mood, the vibes, it's 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 a sleeping in day <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Thank you, Madison, for the 50 likes. Love me so much. Same on the bed. Yeah, like something about the world just doesn't feel right, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, yep. 
Because I remember, I feel woke up at like seven thirty or like seven ish to let Mocha out to pee, and then he gave Latte food, and then I woke up at eight and Latte was like meowing at me because she wanted food again, and I was like, "Love, I know Theon already gave you food. You're not getting food for me again because that's what she does. She scams you." So yeah, she gave up after a little. <laughs> I normally wake up at ten a.m. and ten a.m. Yeah, me too. Like, if I'm like really tired, I'll wake up at like ten. Thank you, Marasha. Love you. Shannon is scary. Yes, it is, Sarah. <laughs> Yo, I burned my little my finger. It hurts. Oh, it's lagging. Well, I think I'm gonna go soon, just cause I have to get done with some cleaning. <sighs> <laughs> Um, but I'll be back later today for sure. I'll be back like later to die. Also, one sec. I never set a reminder of what I forgot. The foot I forgot. Not to late, please, around five to uh probably around five p.m. EST, somewhere around there. Um, so yeah, um, but I'll let y'all know first because maybe I won't, <laughs> but I will try, I will try and succeed. Uh, anyways, I love you all so much. You all are amazing. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I had so much fun. Uh, we'll do a virtual, yes, there will be a virtual pride. We're going to be celebrating pride all day long, every day of the week. Okay, y'all don't let hate stop you from spreading positivity okay bitch don't let homophobes or racists or anything stop you from being yourself and standing for what you believe in period okay y'all <laughs> love y'all so much stay amazing stay perfect stay icons oh i have a stretch today that feels so good <laughs> Yes, don't change for others. And I'll always call out bullshit, racism, and homophobia, and transphobia, and everything. Call it out, bitch, when you see it. Because that's just going to make them, people go like, oh, oh, maybe what I said wasn't right. Maybe what I did wasn't right. So, period, kings and queens and everyone. Okay, y'all, love y'all so much. I'll see you later. Thank you, Mac. Dulin, Broad, love you. Oh, my God, my finger really hurts. Bye. Ooh. Also, go like my latest Instagram post and comment on it. You know what's lit. And if you want, tag two people in the comments. And if you want, spam the comments. I don't know. Something like that. Something fun. Bye, bitch. <laughs>